Hello, Mark back again for another tutorial for my beginners. This one's going to be about muzzle flashes. Muzzle flashes. All right, here we go. So I have some footage that I made uh, specifically for this tutorial on muzzle flashes. I'm going to drag it in. Drag it down here, create a new comp. There's the footage. Let's get to the point. I'm just going to drag the timeline over until I get there. Time today would be nice. Go in and come up. Now I'm just doing the uh, flashes. I'm not going to do the um, the recoil of the slide. So you can find those all over the place. Alright, so you want to find page up. I'm already down, page down. So it goes forward, boom, right there. Boom, right there. Alright, so that's what I want. Um, you can press the times uh, button on your number pad or uh, shift and then one up top will create the letter one here and you can do you know shift two, three, four, whatever uh, if you want to mark your, your timeline there. So another, another cool little tip. So again, page down, boom, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, all right. Never mind. All right, so for muzzle flashes, I have uh, Action Essential 2 uh, from um, videocopilot.net. Dude's awesome. Love Video Copilot. Um, how I bring it in was I went to File, Browse, and Bridge, and then it brings up Bridge, and uh, I have it on my desktop. So I'm just going to the account right there, and I click on whatever I want, right click. And then open with Avid Fix Your Five. Um, you can double click on it and it'll do the same thing. And you can use Bridge for a bunch of things, but that's just a long, small example. Um, you can also test it how it would look in devices as well. I'll get into that a little bit later. But let's move on. So I uh, imported a muzzle flash. I'm just going to use this one. I'm going to drag it over. Boom. Okay. But now you're like, wait, dude. I don't see anything. You're right, because whenever you drag something on timeline, it'll start from the beginning. So, before I knew this trick, I was like trying to pull the footage over, and some of the files are so small that you couldn't grab it. I didn't know you could just go like that and make it bigger, but you can also just hit uh, begin bracket, and that'll bring it to the beginning. If you hit end bracket, it'll bring it to the end of that clip. Make sure you have the clip selected. Alright, so you see there's the muzzle flash. Now, we can, with the layer selected, make sure, you know, the layer selected, we can move it around like this. Um, press W, okay, or you can press this uh, rotation tool, but I press W, hold down, hold down W, and uh, align it up with uh, the gun. I want to make it smaller, so I'm going to hit uh, S for scale, just scale it down. Right about there is good. Um, put it right there. You know, usually guns don't have muzzle flashes in real life, but in Hollywood and movies, it just makes for better, better footage. So, come on, you piece of sh sugar. All right, so boom, right there. Boom. All right, so that's boom. One way now, but you're now you're saying okay, that seems easy enough, which it really is. It's very easy. I mean, I just showed you, super easy, boom. But when you get funky angles like this, you're like, oh man, now what? Get it to the spot, boom. Right there. Get it to the bot. I'm going to go shift two. Get it to the spot. I'm going to drag out uh, the same muzzle flash. Boom. Hit begin bracket. Um, now you can see if I do it like this, it's going to look really stupid. That looks like, you know, out this way and to the left. Swing it to the left. It looks retarded, right? Retarded. Comes out and to the left. Swing it to the left. Swinging to the left. Did I mention that it was swinging to the left? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know people swearing at me right now. The whole twelve that watch. Anyways, um, toggle the switch down here and make it uh, three day. And then you hold this bad boy, press down W, and you can twist her like that. Same thing with the Z. Boom. And now it looks a hundred times better. All right, we still got to do the scale. So again, press S, scale it down. And now it's starting to look a little wacky. So looks like it's still turn a little bit. So I'm gonna hold down W on the Y. So just because something's not, this whole scene's not 3D, but you want to add, you want to make it look realistic, and so you make it 3D. Now it looks a lot better than it did before. Now we have uh, the front view. Boom. Don't shoot the camera. Don't shoot. I don't got the money to replace it. All right. Come on, dude. Shoot the fucking thing. That'll be beeped out. Boom. 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 Alright, so right there, shift three. So now you see what oh, I'm using see how it comes in handy? I mean one, two, three. I mean it does come in handy, so I know where each shot is. Boom, boom, boom. I don't have to keep searching for it. I'm gonna pull the now I could hit uh control D, duplicate the layer, then hit begin bracket and do that instead of dragging it down. I mean, that's always an option too. Ditch that. And then we got to bring in a uh, different muzzle flare. So we're going to go with this muzzle flash straight on. Right click, open with CS 5.5. But boom, there it is, straight. Pull in this. Now we're going to pull in the straight muzzle flare. Boom. Again, begin bracket. And there she blows. Uh, scale it down. Like that. Find out where the tip is. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to press W and rotate a little bit so it looks a little, a little better there. To my taste, anyways. That's a weird look of muzzle flash. Anyways, so now you have your muzzle flashes, and uh, it's that simple. There's a one, two, and three. Don't forget too about your muzzle flashes. That uh, you know, you're probably gonna need to color correct them a little bit. And don't. Uh, so you're gonna click on the layer, hit effect, color correction, curves, and then you're going to f fix the uh, color correction, make that a little brighter. It doesn't take much to make them look good, but you definitely got to do color correction. See, with, without, with, without, with. So definitely uh, do that color correction. It's also good, too, to mix up the muzzle flares. Uh, so if you got a bunch of different guys shooting or a different bunch of different shots with you shooting a, a gun in different scenes, uh, definitely switch it up uh, with different muzzle flares. You know, rotate the muzzle flares, offset the timing. Um, you can even... Uh, muzzle flashes, muzzle flares, oh my god, muzzle flashes. I also like to put like a um, glow when the uh, the shot goes off. I like to do a little glow. So what you do is you want to go in the effects and presets over here and uh, type in the word glow. Alright, actually it's not a glow. I, light, sorry, light. You want to type in light. Come down here, let's see if I can get it right on the first time. Right, so... Nope, it's light rays. Son of a bitch. Light rays. Alright, so this little sucker right here is pretty cool, man. Hey, you got something in your ear, buddy. Hey, you got something in your ear. Your ears are on fire. Ah! But, uh, cool little plug in. Of course, uh, let's see. Light rays. Alright, so I like to put it right around there. And I turn up the intensity. Try to make. 
rocket, so it looks like it's coming from the gun. Alright, so you keyframe the intensity, and you can do the roundness, and you can do, you know, make some weird stuff going on. Just a subtle, 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 subtle. All right, so I want to page up, intensity zero, down on, page down again, page down again, and then I want to do zero. All right, so it's gonna, he's gonna go pop, pop. See that? So, like the muzzle flash is giving off light. Boom. Just gives it a, that one little more uh, bit of detail to make it look more realistic. I mean, we're all looking to make it as realistic as possible, right? So, we go to number two. We do the same thing. Page up, zero, page down, page down, page down, zero. Number three, same thing. Put it right there. This should look pretty cool. Intensity 300. Boom. Oh, yeah, that's cool. I gotta move it over a little bit to the left. Boom. And then that looks its best right there. Page up. Zero. Down. Down. So, I mean, that looks cool. Check this out. Boom. Like the sound effects? Boom. Sound effects. It's good to use your uh, sound effects when you're doing it out of your mouth. I mean, who needs expensive equipment when you can just use your mouth? I mean, wasn't what was that black guy on a movie, Airplane? that uh, did all those funky sounds and uh, so that's kinda cool um, I see something where I just messed up so as you can see what I forgot to do is uh, keyframe center so that's uh, not cool at all but we'll just go back and we'll have to do it we'll have to do it that uh, all right let's see what we got hopefully this look a little better now all right here we go <laughs> everyone's going what the fuck all right boom 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 perfect so there you go i mean looks pretty cool got a little bit of everything keep in mind I only color corrected the first one but uh, that's how you do a simple muzzle flash the side front and at a weird angle alright guys if you have any questions feel free to ask if not see you later